So I have this bench grinder and uh, it started making some crazy noises. Check it out. That's definitely not good. Um, it almost certainly sounds like a bearing, but I took all the, the the wheels off, the grinding wheels and all the, the guards and all that stuff off of both sides just to make sure it wasn't something that was rubbing or something, but I don't know if you can hear that. Um, I'm almost positive it's a bearing, so I'm going to take these hubs off and uh, see if we can figure out what's going on inside. And maybe we can fix it, who knows. You'll find that when you take off these screws that hold this hub on here, it won't just come off. Um, it's because it's, it fits really tightly in here, and the reason that it fits so tightly is because where the bearing lines, and you'll see this l later where the bearing lays, everything is held in place by the end of this hub here, so this all has to be super gripped on there super tight. So um, to, to do that, we're going to grab hammer. And uh, this is a great use for these rawhide mallets that I uh, made in another video. Works great for stuff like this. So I'm just going to kind of hit this and try to wiggle it off. Might have to use a screwdriver here. We'll see if it happens. There we go. <clears throat> so now we got that off. Okay. You see, so you can see that hub was holding this whole side of this whole shaft that runs along the, the whole center of the thing. So the motor is it's on the inside. You can see that. This is actually it's part and parcel with the most motor. This is the, the main shaft of the motor that's connected to the whole thing. And so you see this has to be held perfectly in place otherwise it's going to hit uh, your, your uh, windings on the motor and everything. So let's take the whole shaft out and to do that it's stuck in the other end, the bearing is still stuck on this end of the hub. So we're just going to take my hammer here. There we go. So now we got the whole shaft out of the center. So now let's see if we can tell a difference in these bearings. Yep. Here. This one is super smooth. Super smooth over here. And this one, you can tell there's not something right with it. So here's the, this is the good side. And you see this is just real nice. Just perfect. And then here, look at the other side. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's real, it's not good at all. It, it, it binds up, it's crunchy, not good. So let's see if we can replace this. If I look at the outside diameter of this, 40.2 millimeters is what that says, okay? The width, the width is 12 millimeters, exactly. And the inner diameter, I haven't popped it off yet, but if I look at the shaft that it's on, is 16.5, okay? So, did a little Amazon Oat Prime overnight, and I got some of these bearings. I'm gonna measure these and make sure that they're uh, exactly the same dimensions as the one I'm gonna take off right here. So what I'm going to do, here's, this is the bad bearing, I'm going to position this in my vise here, so these lips hit the bearing, and then hopefully I'm going to give it a little bit of this, see if we can knock it off. Okay, 
starting to move it. Moved a little bit there, so we're on the right track. So here's the old bad bearing and the new replacement that I bought side by side. Did some measurements, they both look exactly the same. So I think we're good to go try to get this guy uh, back on the shaft. All right, so to put the new one on, I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of wood like this. New bearing goes there. Shaft through like that. All right, and let's see what happens. New one's on there. Feels about like the other one. Great. So now let's put the whole put the whole thing back together. See what happens. All right. We got a new bearing on on the shaft. We're gonna try to put this back in. Put it back in the same way that we took it out. Send goes in here. When you get to the end there, it's gonna get caught up. Take our hub from the back side. It's a little arrow indicating which way is down, not up, but down. Like that. Now we're gonna dry it. We're gonna hit this uh, hub back on, and that's gonna do. It's gonna cinch up the whole thing. It's gonna fully seat the bearing over here in this hub. It's gonna seat the bearing over here, and this gap will seal up. Hopefully, and let's make sure our holes line up. Once I got the holes lined up, I just went ahead and put the screws in before I finally hit it all the way down so I'll, I know I won't mess up the alignment of my screws. And then I'll finally tighten it down. You kind of hear the noise change as everything gets uh, more contact. Feels good. Let's tighten down these screws over here. All right. This is the moment of truth. I don't have any weight, any load on it right now. Let's give it a, a go and see how it sounds. Ah, uh, very nice. That is how it is supposed to sound. Sweet. All right, now I just got to put the wheels back on, the disc back on, the guards and the rests and all that stuff, and uh, take it from there. A 
step is to put these guards back on the side here and then we're done. There we go. <clears throat> Full thing reassembled. Very minimal vibration. Looking good. That's how you fix a bench grinder bearing.